How, do, how far do you think we are from a broad rollout of SteamOS for any PC configuration? In the next year or two, do you think we'll start seeing large numbers of enthusiasts building their own well-functioning living room PC consoles? Uh, this one from um, SG33 in brackets. Jake, hi, Jake. I'll get that hi, out Jake. of the way straight away. Hi, right, Alex. Good. <laughs> Good to see you continue in the proud tradition of acknowledging Jake. Um, uh, he says, hi all, uh, the quote unquote year of the Linux desktop is a meme as old as time, but do you think it's slowly becoming a viable gaming operating system every time Microsoft does something that upsets people? Layoffs, co-pilot. John really went in heavy on a co-pilot last week. Oh, great. Um, That's awesome. <laughs> Xbox shenanigans involvement in certain wars. Mm -hmm. It results in a spike of Linux growth. Valve have challenged the idea that using Linux would necessarily bring a performance hit, with the main issue being anti-cheat and delayed support for new technologies. Uh, GN, I assume it's Gamers Nexus, has said they're moving into Linux testing as they're disillusioned with the direction of Windows. And even Jay's two cents. Uh, do you think that like Blue Sky, there may well be a breaking point where gamers, just gamers, make the shift en masse? Mm -hmm. um, Oliver, I'm curious what you think about this one. I mean, going to Paul Kalamata's question there, mm -hmm. I can see that happening, but it does, I think for the time being at least, it's probably going to be a, a sort of AMD thing. Isn't, isn't it the case that SteamOS is kind of tailored for AMD um, hardware with that open source driver? Yeah, I think that is a big potential hurdle. I know that when you try to install Bazite, that does not work very well with NVIDIA hardware at the moment. That's been an area where there needs to be some improvement, I think, because I think most desktop users are probably interested in having NVIDIA graphics hardware as opposed to AMD graphics hardware there. So that would be an area where they need to improve. But I think that this is probably more than a year away. I think the beauty of SteamOS is that it supports a very limited number of device configurations, including the Lenovo Legion Go S, including the Steam Deck, obviously. And I think they want to slowly expand support on a device by device basis, rather than just opening the floodgates. Um, that said though, there are uh, different projects, including Bazite, that allow you to install SteamOS or something very similar to SteamOS, realistically speaking, uh, with those projects. But I do want to see this because I think SteamOS is fantastic and it's a proven quantity in terms of achieving a really good kind of quote unquote console like experience when you're playing these PC games. Whereas kind of Microsoft's attempt to kind of shove Windows into like a console suit. It remains to be seen how well that works, right? Like that's definitely an area where there are lots of problems on the kind of list of Windows issues they need to solve that SteamOS has already solved. And Microsoft is making progress on some things publicly, some things they've not made progress on. And all the while, you know, SteamOS is here. That, that kind of effort is going to take, you know, some five months, four months, six months, whatever, to actually show up on any shipping devices. So we're going to have to see how well that works. But SteamOS is, is a pretty good quantity here today. Mm -hmm. Alex, what do you think? Um, you know, I do think it is more than a couple years away. Um, mm -hmm. And I think Oliver's right on the money there. That's basically to actually have a functioning OS that's more broadly applicable to more people, it has to cover so much more hardware. And the driver side on NVIDIA needs to be brought up to snuff, which I think is more likely in the future, especially now that uh, NVIDIA themselves have been more supportive of it lately, as well as they're going to be moving at some point into the desktop space with CPUs in some capacity. It's been long in the running, and we just have to see what that's like. But it would require either Linux versions, uh, or it would require Windows for ARM, uh, win ARM for Windows, sorry, whatever they call mm -hmm. it. Um, and uh, yeah, that that's going to take a long time, and we still have yet to get there. And at which case, I would seriously consider it, because I am fed up with Microsoft <laughs> like and everything they do with the Windows operating system. I've t countless times, just like Steve on Gamers Nexus, like the trajectory of the company regarding like the average like user, p average power user is just like pathetic. Like it's really annoying to use Windows at times. Uh, yeah, that said, obviously Windows has this huge back catalog of software that you would maybe be doing trades with that if you were to use the Linux operating system that you wouldn't necessarily get that full back coverage that you get on Windows unless someone like NVIDIA, who has historically have good BC, is also at the helm there, right? Not just Valve themselves. Uh, 
maybe at some point in the future this is actually reality and i'd like to see it because like i said so far pretty tired of windows 11. it's not great is it i mean we had a whole video which where we just vented Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. a clip on df clips which was part of the direct where it's like all of the annoyances that have come from windows 11. and i think fundamentally the um uh the issue what can i say i think moving to linux it could take it could take several years and i think that nvidia not being particularly friendly with linux is is part of the problem because you know they basically own the desktop gpu sector um, for gaming which basically means those you know that audience will be on windows until such time as Linux actually works properly and you get all of those features. So that's one of the one of the issues there. Um, but at the same time, you know, um, Windows is not in a great place. Microsoft seems to be sort of telling us that it is going to be in a great place when they come up with this great um, merging of Windows and Xbox. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the challenges facing Microsoft on that front, the only evidence we've seen so far that there's any change at all is that they've got a launcher that runs Steam games and games from other op uh, from other stores, which is a necessary step for the Xbox app, but at the same time doesn't actually address any of our concerns that we have with uh, uh, gaming on Windows. And it is the case that, you know, Bazite does do a lot of those things and does them, you know, very, very well. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. I'm, th I'm thinking status quo for quite a while yet. But it is going to require, I think, Linux to, to actually produce a better gaming experience overall than, than Windows uh, to actually make people, you know, to bring about that change. If Microsoft really fumbles this um, merging of Xbox and Windows, maybe that will happen. But at the same time, maybe they will address some of the issues that, that we've had uh, with uh, with Windows specifically and DirectX. We just don't really know at the moment. What I do feel, though, is that people def definitely sort of got a negative perception of Microsoft, don't really want to be associated with it, are looking for alternatives. But the alternatives have actually got to be really good and quantifiably better in pretty much every dimension. The alternative is dual booting, which nobody really wants. Mm. Oh, no. Um, it's, it's just going to be too much of a pain at that point.